In this video, I want to talk about the next big trend in blockchain. And this is one that I'm personally watching very closely. And it's one that you need to understand if you want to become a blockchain developer, or maybe you're like just watching the cryptocurrency markets, whatever. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So what is this big trend in blockchain right now? Well, it's decentralized finance or DeFi for short. And if you've been following along with this channel, then you've probably seen me make some videos on this topic already. But in this video, I want to talk about why I think it's the next big trend and why it's here to stay and you know where it's headed. And also why you can't ignore it if you care about blockchain. So really quickly, like, what is DeFi? Well, this is basically taking traditional financial products and moving them over to the blockchain. Things like savings, loans, trading. And I actually did an entire video on, you know, what is DeFi. So you can check that out if you want the full explanation. And this is a huge trend that's more than 4x in the last year alone. Okay, so you can see on this website here, DeFiPulse.com, you can see that the current value of US dollar locked into DeFi protocols is over $3 billion. Okay, and you know, we were only at uh, $1 billion, you know, two months ago. And this space is taking off really fast. Now, if we zoom out here on the all time graph, like, you know, we went from zero to one billion dollars in, you know, about two ish years. And then from one billion to three billion in about two months. So that's a pretty parabolic move. And it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. So many DeFi apps have popped onto the scene, you know, in the past year or so. And, you know, a lot more are coming because I just retweeted something this past week uh, from Spartan Black, who's a partner at a crypto hedge fund that he said, you know, if you're having trouble keeping up with all the DeFi innovations that are launching seemingly on a weekly basis, you know, you're not alone. Uh, but he says it's not slowing down anytime soon. And there are a torrent of DeFi startups with new ideas that are getting funding right now. You know, I talked about how that's an amazing thing for you if you're trying to get into the blockchain space because that means there's huge demand and all these projects are going to need blockchain developers to realize these visions. And there are so many eyeballs on these projects because, you know, a lot of them have tokens that have pumped like crazy in the past few months. So there's clearly big demand for this technology and we're going to talk about who is using it here in a minute. But it's also gaining a lot of attention outside of the cryptocurrency bubble, okay? You know, we see a, a website like Mashable talking about how DeFi could become the next big thing in finance, all right? Not just blockchain, but just the financial sector as a whole. So why is DeFi taking off right now? Well, there's lots of different reasons, okay? Uh, for one, you can get benefits you can't get anywhere else, all right? So things like uh, savings rate, for example. And that's one of the benefits you can get from using DeFi over the traditional financial system. So this is Aave, or right? it's a pretty hot DeFi project. And you can see here that like you can earn a 6% interest on your money by putting your cryptocurrency into this protocol. Okay. And for like, you know, Binance's version of US dollar, you can get almost 13% interest, right? That's, that's crazy high compared to my bank account, which is like 0.01% interest. So that's a long-term value proposition for DeFi, but there are also some short-term kind of frenzies that are happening. Okay. So one of them is like, like yield farming. Uh, so I made a video about that recently too. You can check that out if you want to. But uh, that's basically where you can get paid to borrow money. So you know you can deposit uh, funds in here to earn interest, but you can also borrow money on the other side and you pay a fee to do that. But whenever you do it, you get paid in tokens from this platform. So that's an example of a short-term frenzy and who knows how long that's going to last, to tell you the truth. Uh, but another one is like, these tokens are starting to pump. So financial speculation. And that's one of the hottest reasons for cryptocurrency in the first place. And why people gravitate toward it because they can get bigger returns than they can get somewhere else, especially on a short-term basis. And DeFi is hot right now. And last but not least, you know, there's just general improvements to the traditional financial system with DeFi, okay? And some of these are more boring. They're not as like flashy as, you know, high interest, you know, savings rates or yield farming or financial speculation. But things like stable coins, all right? So, you know, you can send stable coins, which is, you know, just a cryptocurrency whose price doesn't change. Uh, a lot of times this is an improvement to like a wire transfer, okay? So if you want to wire somebody like a million dollars, that can take a long time and cost a lot of money. With a stable coin, it can happen, you know, basically instantly. And you don't have to be approved in order to do it. And you can do it on a weekend and you don't have to worry that the price of the cryptocurrency is going to change. 
And there's lots of other benefits to this, you know, sort of open financial system as opposed to the traditional financial system. There's no red tape. You know, you don't have to bank, have a bank account in order to do it. It's a 24 seven system. So you can operate after hours and, and the list kind of goes on and on. So who's using DeFi? Like, you know, who's really causing this trend to take off? Well, you know, We've seen like a big run up here. And I think a lot of this run up has got to do with some of these more short term, really hypey things like yield farming and some of the financial speculation that's going on with these tokens. And so I think a lot of people who are responsible for this are the initiated. Okay. So this is basically people who are already familiar with cryptocurrency in blockchain. Uh, A lot of them are whales, right? Who are willing to pay the high transaction fees that are going on right now uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. And so a lot of this right now it kind of is an insider's game for lots of reasons. Like it's kind of hard to get into. It's difficult to understand. You have to know what you're doing whenever you're using one of these dApps. But I do think there's, you know, room to grow and this space can take off and more mainstream users can come in. So where's this space headed? All right. So it's hard to say for sure with a high degree of accuracy, but I don't think it's going anywhere for the long term. Okay. So here's why. This is a lot like a Pandora's box situation where basically, you know, it's been let out of the box and there's no stuffing it back inside. Right. It's just like the cryptocurrency space as a whole, right? You know, cryptocurrency came on the scene. We've seen a lot of trends and use cases kind of come up over time that have maybe died off, but cryptocurrency has kept pushing on. And I think the same kind of thing is going to happen for DeFi here, right? So some things might stick, some things might not stick, but because there's a clear like product market fit, there's a huge carrot dangled in front of people to start delivering these DeFi based solutions. And so people are going to keep trying and trying, right? And eventually that's going to lead to more and more innovation. And we're going to see, you know, more financial use cases being built on the blockchain that provide real benefit to end users. And so that's where I think we're headed. It's hard to know exactly which financial use cases are going to be reinvented and how, but I think there's good evidence to think that there actually will be. And so what does this mean for blockchain developers? Like maybe you are a developer, you want to learn blockchain, or maybe, you know, you're just interested in this whole thing and think it might be cool to become a blockchain developer. Maybe you don't have a programming background. Well, you know, I just want to reference this tweet again when we're talking about people, you know, who are throwing money at these projects to get funding, to kind of see what sticks and to see what's going to take off. There's a flood of new projects entering this space and they all need blockchain developers to bring these ideas to life. And that's really good news for you because that means blockchain developer demand is going up. And if there's a big gold rush, you know, around this DeFi ecosystem, then you need to know the technology that's powering a lot of these applications. So if you go to a website like DeFiPulse.com, you can see um, almost all of these are based on Ethereum. Okay. So, you know, Ethereum is the, you know, the largest general purpose blockchain that supports smart contracts. It's the number two market cap cryptocurrency at the time I record this video. It's got a really active developer community. I personally use Ethereum on almost everything that I work on with blockchain. And so those are the skills that, you know, you need to know if you want to get in on this trend. And for people watching this space, you know, I always say that becoming a blockchain developer is probably the safest and best way to make money with all this over the long term. You know, you might be able to make some short term gains with cryptocurrency speculation, all that kind of stuff. But if you really want to solve your cash flow problem and like, you know, build a life for yourself that has consistent income, then right now is an amazing time to get in on blockchain. Because like I said, this trend is taking off. The demand for blockchain developers is going up. And we're definitely in the early days of this stuff. So if you want to capitalize on this trend while it's still early, you know, how can you get started today? Well, first and foremost, you know, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And it really helps this videos out so that more people can find them. But if you want to start learning blockchain today, then you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there, right? They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free, all right? They take you through step by step, give you an introduction to the technology, teach you how to build your own app. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, uh, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, show you how to build a real world app so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, get into cryptocurrency trading, you know, whatever. Uh, Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right. So that's all I got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.